Troy Williams tries to dunk it in and out of the cylinder. Weber with it quickly down court. And a shot is put up, and it is good very quickly. That's yeah, plantar problem. fasciitis for Clay Anthony Early, an ankle problem for Isaiah Hartenstein. So both of those players inactive tonight for the Vipers. This is exactly the kind of pace the Vipers want. They're scoring at will. They're penetrating the defense. They're able to make shots. And that time, interesting shot. It goes up and then down. He's definitely not able to get around uh, super quickly. And three-point attempt is good from the left side by Nawamu, Ike Nawamu. Mitchell with the ball. Mitchell gets it out. Nawamu goes down the lane, lays it up and in. So Derek Jones Jr. is with Miami. 50%, uh, whereas last night they started shooting about 30% from the field. Ike Nawamu around jumper, down low. The other end, Brown tries to drive in, but it's blocked. Blocked by Hammonds, and we'll talk about Hammonds in a moment. Briante Weber hits a three-pointer from the right corner. And Hammonds, the force, keeps the ball. Now Nawamu has it in the lane. Bounce pass down low to Hammonds. Puts it up and in, and there is a whistle. Matt Braze not very happy with that call. Now Nawamu over to Briante Weber. Thinks about shooting back to Ike. And Ike will take the shot and hits it, even with an outstretched hand out there by Markel Brown. He is up in the Great Plains from that area. And now Nawamu with a three-point attempt down the cylinder. Gets a rebound. Now here's Nawamu, has the ball knocked away briefly. Now down low, and reverse dunk by Jack. Court, here comes Hunter after the pass. And Mitchell with the block. Ball ahead to Nawamu. Nawamu in the lane, double team, gets it out to Williams, and Williams will hit the three-pointer left of the arc. We were just talking about him, and he's... A lot of NBA teams and G League teams have had Star Force Knights. Ooh, Star Wars Knights. I mean, no Listen, there's no point. kind of defense that you can no. do. Uh, Markel Brown was right in his face. What we'll do, down to the final few seconds, and it's going to be a 144-133 victory. Sioux Falls over Rio Grande Valley. The teams have...